Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update. I'm Drew, and as you can see, I'm certainly not in our studio in uh, Kerrville. And Brent was trying to get in, but he's traveling back from Kentucky. And so he's having a little bit of internet issues, which we totally understand. But what you see here, I'm actually in uh, Frisco, Texas, and I am at the headquarters of Carnomaly. And we've been telling y'all for the last few weeks that our daily update is brought to you by Carnomaly. And so we're going to talk a little bit about the markets. And then I'm going to actually spend kind of the rest of the time talking today about Carnomaly, what it is, and get you folks that you kind of understand, in my opinion, uh, one of the best use cases for cryptocurrency and blockchain that exists. And it's going to change the way people buy and sell cars, register and do all those things. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about the markets. Bitcoin's off a little bit. The overall market is off a little bit. Um, I, candidly, I, in, in the time that I was doing, I was rushing to get running to get in here. Gold and silver are down a little bit. Um, frankly, I haven't seen what the Dow's doing. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I've been on the road. And uh, pulled in here literally with about three minutes to spare so that I could go in and make sure we got a daily update done. And uh, so anyway, the markets are where the markets are. And like I said, Bitcoin's off a little bit. And the, the other one's gold and silver down just a little bit. Um, but uh, bottom line is, is they're going to do what they're going to do. And everybody just hold tight. I want to talk to you all a little bit about Carnomaly and what this project is and why y'all should look at it. Okay. Um, one of the things that y'all know, we've been talking about it, doing this show for almost three years. And the reality is most crypto projects kind of a unique marketplace because going all the way back to the early days of additional projects, Bitcoin was the grand puba came out in, in uh, 2009, obviously, and our 2008. Anyway, Bitcoin came out, whatever it did, 10, 12 years ago. And then there have been several other projects that have come. I mean, 7,000, 7,500 of them since then. People started doing white papers and then they would do what was called an ICO, an initial coin offering. And so they would basically come up with a concept. Most of them didn't even have a working model or prototype or anything. And they would put it out to the marketplace and it was a unique approach. And it created a lot of what they call FOMO, fear of missing out, where you know, you see something that looks so exciting and everything's excited about it. People pushed all this money into it. Lamborghinis became, everybody talked about getting a Lambo off of their cryptocurrency. It was really funny when we went to a World CryptoCon in Vegas in 2019, the year before we'd gone 2018 and there was Lamborghinis everywhere. We went in 2019, there wasn't a single Lamborghini. <laughs> and it's because it, the cryptocurrencies have, they're maturing into a real business. And cryptocurrencies themselves, or at least, you know, the uh, crypto projects are getting to be real businesses. Cryptocurrency themselves are really getting to be a store of value. And that doesn't mean that there aren't some that are going to fail. I mean, there's, there's, you know, the lion's share will fail. But real projects that have real use case stand a great chance and a great opportunity to make it. That's where Carnomaly comes in. So this guy who's been in the car business, spent his whole life in, in there, uh, cut his teeth on it, saw issues when you work in an industry, you see where the shortcomings are. And see, he saw opportunities to use blockchain and cryptocurrencies to solve a lot of the problems in the automotive business. And part of it is, is taking a car's dossier, taking its history from the time it's born, comes out of the dealer, all the way through its life, cradle to grave, and putting it on the blockchain. And why is that important? Why does it make sense? Well, there's so many reasons I can't go into them all now, but what I will tell you just very basically, think about it. When you go to buy a used car, and I bought the last new car that I bought as a brand new car in, two, in 1985. Ever since then, I pay cash for my cars. But the bottom line is ever since then, I go in and I buy them from individuals that are a couple of years old. They've taken the biggest hit on the depreciation and I get a pretty new car and save 20, 25% off with sticker price versus me buying it new. But when I buy that car, the person that I'm buying it from, I'll ask him, I'll say, you know, how many miles I got on it? Well, it's got 70,000 miles. Have you put brakes on it? Yeah, I put brakes on it. When did you do it? Well, I did it here. Or I did it there. And I just put tires on it. And then you find out just put tires on it means 20,000 miles ago or whatever it is. And so there's no real good history or record. Imagine if when you buy a car, you've got an app on your phone and you go in there and you zap the VIN 
okay, and now it registers that it's your vehicle. And every time you service it, every time you change the oil, if it gets, every time something gets fixed, every time there's a recall that goes in and something gets repaired through a recall, all of that is documented. And now all of a sudden you have this dossier of every single thing that has gone on with that vehicle. Has it ever been in a wreck? Was it in an area that may have gotten flooded? Okay. And so now you have a true history in the blockchain immutable of that car. Well, it increases the value of the car significantly. Let me tell you a couple other things that are important to, the, to this whole concept. And there's so many features to this thing. It's incredible. When a car gets stolen or anything else, you're going in. When you buy a car from a third party and they sign a title over to you, did you know that you're still responsible for that car if they haven't transferred the car into their name? I was talking to my son about this today, and he goes, oh, my gosh, that happened to me with my motorcycle. He said, remember when I sold that motorcycle? And this has been 10 years ago. And I said, yeah, he said, about two years later, I find out there's a warrant out for my arrest because someone had gone and they were speeding. And you know how they have the speed cams? Well, all I did was pick up the license plate. The last person that that license was registered to was my son. So they issue a warrant for his arrest. He didn't even own the motorcycle, but he didn't know that. What if when you meet to sell a car or buy a car from somebody, what if that transaction happens immediately? What if then the tech county tax assessor collector is notified that that car changed hands? They send an invoice to that new buyer, making sure that they pay the taxes on it, transfer, title transfers. Folks, let me tell you something. I don't have time to go into all the benefits and features of this thing. But part of the reason that I'm up here is I'm going to be spending a couple of days a week in this project with the founders of this thing. It's one of the best use cases I've ever seen. So go out and look at Carnomaly, C-A-R-N-O-M-A-L-Y.io. And we're pre-IEO, folks. You ought to look at it and get a hold of a little bit of this, uh, even if it's just for your grandkids. Folks, thanks for always tuning into the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update. And we will see you again tomorrow.